Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for February 4th, 2020. So today we have Black Obsidian, The Shadow. And this is what this, I started smiling as soon as this came out because someone had left a comment on one of my videos, um, kind of inexplicably saying that I needed to do more shadow work. And I thought that was interesting. I wish I could have engaged. I know people say don't engage in those kinds of comments, but sometimes, you know, we can't just shut out the people who are trying to spur us, okay? Now, hang with me as I say this, because you're gonna go, what, what, what? You know, that's not how you're supposed to handle things because we get trained to say, I'm not gonna let that bother me, let's move on. And in some cases, yes, that's appropriate. But we're all supposed to be working to come back together. So if a fellow human being is out there and they've picked up something that I've said, or maybe this pertains to you and you know, like in a certain situation, okay, maybe a, a situation popped up in your mind just now. And instead of seeing them as like, okay, you know what, you're just trouble and I'm just not gonna engage, you're shutting them out. Now, if they're being abusive, you gotta do that, okay? Or if you know they're just trying to drag your energy down, you feel like they're an energy vampire, then yes, you gotta shut them out. But in this case, I felt a stirring of something else. And I wanna, I wanna show this example with you here just for a moment. Um, this was somebody who I felt was very ungrounded, very disconnected, and very susceptible. What I mean by that is when this person said that, I was like, what are you talking about? Like I, I wanted to come back and be like, I need to do more shadow work. It was almost as if they were projecting. Okay, and do I need to do shadow work? Yeah, everybody does, <laughs> right? So it was such an obvious statement. It was such an obvious statement, but I was a little concerned about this person in their energy because they seem to be wandering. And when people wander like that, they are really open to, again, those energy vampires coming and taking advantage. And it was almost as if this person had been filled with so many other people's shadow aspects, like they only perceive that part of it, um, that, they're, they were too weighed down and kind of stuck. It was like they were at a dead end and they just kind of kept walking into the wall a little bit. And so, you know, that was one of those where I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to talk to this person, but it didn't work. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just, I'll let that person do, you know, who am I, right? So I'll just let them do whatever they're gonna do. But Black Obsidian, the shadow, you know, when we start to get fearful of facing our own shadow, I think, you know, the reason why that example was so there in my head was that this was somebody who, was shoving their shadow aspect outside of them. Does that make sense? And I think we do that. I think we do that, I do it all the time. And I'm realizing, I'm like, I do throw my shadow aspect out. If I'm aggravated and I just feel like, man, I cannot get anything done today, you know, I'm gonna be less patient with the person who drives up to the ATM and decides to do all of their banking at the ATM instead of going inside, right? Get some cash, deposit a check, but depositing 10 checks at the one ATM and there's a huge line, I mean, that's a whole other thing, right? So we tend to do that. And this is that part of us that you gotta be careful with, especially with a lot of spiritual practitioners. They will try to pretend like they don't have a shadow aspect or, you know, it, it's just, they're very well, they're very good to focus on other people. What's wrong with, quote unquote, what's wrong with other people, but they won't work on what's wrong with them. So what am I getting at here? The shadow aspect exists in everybody. And other people's shadows, we can sometimes absorb them. That's what Black Obsidian does. It, it absorbs the negativity. Make sure you're not being the Black Obsidian, okay? <laughs> Make sure you can use Black Obsidian to help you. But let's not get into that space of wanting to deny our own shadow self so much that all we do is focus on and start criticizing others for their shadow aspect. We all have to learn it, all right? It's just a part of being human. So I hope that made sense. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.